Hello you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. This is going to be the vlog where we get ready for the Halloween party. I'll probably show some of the Halloween party. So I just went to a bunch of different stores to get the supplies. Today's currently Thursday, I think it's the 26th. So the party is on Saturday the 28th. So I got everything I needed today. And then tomorrow I'm gonna do some prepping. So Saturday I'm not like super overwhelmed because a lot of like the fun snacks and desserts are Halloween themed. So they're gonna like take a little bit to make. So I went to the liquor store, Target, Walmart and Shaw's. I went to all those stores looking for the Pillsbury pumpkin cookies from the last vlog if you watched it. For the Halloween party, I wanted to make those cookies that have the Pillsbury pumpkin cookie on top of a chocolate chip cookie. No one has the Pillsbury pumpkin cookies anymore. They are gone. It is all, all Christmas. <laughs> And the reason I went to Shaw's, so random because on Instacart it said they were likely in stock. It said they were in stock at the Walmart that I drove 20 minutes to. <laughs> I've just, I've checked, I've checked everywhere. They're gone. But on a happy note, at Walmart, I did go ahead and pick up a case of Witch's Brew. This has a pack of six because I only have one left now. So I'm just not ready to say goodbye. So uh, these will probably go on past Halloween. And then speaking of other drinks at the liquor store, I did go ahead and pick up some red solo cups um, because we wanna play beer pong at the party. And when I say beer pong, we literally just fill them with water and just like play it as a game. It's not really about like drinking it. It's just like the fun of the game. And I did order some new beer pong balls off of Amazon because I can't find ours since we moved. And then I wanted to get some sort of fun fall Halloween-y festive drinks. So you guys know like, I, since my surgery, I cannot drink like hard liquor. I usually just get like seltzers or like hard lemonades or something like that. And I can also drink, I love hard ciders as well. So I was so excited when I saw this. I really like Down East. They have great hard cider. This is cider donut flavored. I only got the four pack just to like, cause what if they're not good? But I don't know, that sounds so great. So I'll have to like taste test one for you before the party and let you know how they are. And then I also grabbed this cranberry Mike's Hard Lemonade because I feel like cranberry is like very fall. And then my friend is also making like a caramel apple drink, I believe. And then we have um, Modelo's. And then usually people kind of just like bring drinks if they want them. So this morning I was like making my list of all like the things I'm making and what I needed. So when I placed my Target pickup, they didn't have a few things in stock. So I'm like, perfect, I'll run into Shaw's and it says they have the cookie dough most likely in stock and I'll grab the things I needed. <laughs> no cookie dough, but um, I did end up getting some of these rosemary crackers for the charcuterie. And then I'm doing like this cute little throwing up pumpkin where guacamole is coming out of his mouth with chips. So um, these were actually $2 off. So I got three of the guacamoles. And then these were $2 off if you bought two. Actually, no, I think just in general, these um, turkey dogs. So these are going to be for my mummy hot dogs. You'll see all of this when I'm making it, but like everything is gonna be so freaking cute. I can't wait to like make the food and decorate. It's gonna be so fun. From Target, these were like two for seven, I think. So we've got um, the chips for the guac and Doritos for the guac, or just if people wanna eat them. I grabbed these because I just thought they were, oh, we're having, we're having a moment. I got just these cute little um, fall mini sugar cookies. They were buy two of the favorite day bakery on sale and then one of them was out of stock so that kind of fell flat. <laughs> so then I got these mini brownie bites cause these are going to make little bats. You take like Oreo, break it in half for the wings. It's super cute. You guys will see again when I make them probably tomorrow. We have two white chocolate bars from Ghirardelli. These are gonna be used to make little ghosts, which go with like little marshmallows. They're, those are super cute too. Oh wait, no, this is for the ghosts. This is for the bats, okay. And then I got these um, Ghouls Mix M&Ms. I'm gonna make like a charcuterie board with a skeleton, skeleton, <laughs> skeleton. So I thought I would sprinkle those on there. I got black icing. This is for some of the desserts I'm making. These are the marshmallows for the ghosts. More crackers for the charcuterie. Oreos for the bats. And then I got crescent rolls for the 
mummy hot dogs. And then for the charcuterie as well, I just got some cracker cuts, some salami. I got these cute little like wrapped salami cheese things. I just thought they were pretty. Um, some honey goat cheese, one of my favorites. And then we just, we needed whipped cream cheese for the house. That's everything. It's been a journey of a morning. I was so excited because I was texting my mom and I'm like, I just went to a few stores and I cannot find the pumpkin cookies. And she's like, did you check Walmart? And I'm like, it says they're out of stock. She's like, look, this one's in stock. And I was like, yes, I'm gonna drive there. I'm like 15 minutes from there. Cause I was already out. And I went in there and I, I was like, oh my God. It was the, the elf ones. They did have the football shaped ones for like football, but not the vibe. So I'm gonna put all this away and I'm kind of just like getting prepped, but we will definitely start making some stuff tomorrow that we can prepare in advance, like the bats and the little ghosties and whatnot. So just to make Saturday as smooth as possible. So I will probably check back in tomorrow and this will be like a full Halloween party prep and party vlog tomorrow okay you guys i just got back from the dollar tree i went to get tablecloths for the beer pong so i got two black ones and then this was perfect this purple serving tray and it has bats along the edge for the guac i'm gonna do so i have like a mini pumpkin i'm gonna carve the throwing up face <laughs> into the guac with chips. So I just thought this was like the perfect size. So we will wash that. And then I got this <laughs> glitter spider just cause like on the island, I'm gonna have all this food. And I thought like little decorations would be cute to add for a dollar, why not? I also got this hand to put somewhere on the table. And then I also grabbed some orange silverware. So perfect. And like looking back i probably should have got other <laughs> serving trays for a dollar because like i don't have i mean i don't have any with like themes or whatever i mean i can put it on normal serving plates but there's something so festive and you know for a dollar why not they're so cute this with the bats like i love that so anyway we are going to start prepping today i already went to the gym it's already 11 30 ran some errands oh this morning i brought bruno to the vet real quick so you guys saw him scooting on the carpet and let me know that that could mean his anal glands need to be expressed so thank you for letting me know i did not know that so i took him in and they manually expressed bruno's anal glands they said it's like super common and some dogs need them manually done but it's all good, so thank you. So it's been quite an eventful morning. So I'm trying to decide how much to prep today, if I should do some, I think I'm just gonna do all the decorating tomorrow and all the food prep today. So kind of like spread it out a little bit. So I'm going to get everything ready um, and on the counter and then we'll get started. Okay guys, full transparency, I burnt the white chocolate. So I improvised and it worked because I really didn't want to run back out. I had some fluff and I Googled if you can melt it and you can. So we're using fluff instead of white chocolate for our little ghosties. But like ultimately you're just finding a way to stick on the marshmallow on top of the brownie and the little dripping down the side gives it that ghosty look. So you can use fluff instead of white chocolate. And I feel like the fluff works cause it's already like marshmallow. So. You don't really need the white chocolate, it's already plenty sweet. So I'm so relieved that I figured something out. I was so mad at myself. I have always burned white chocolate, no matter how careful I am. Like I really thought, I was like, this is my day. I am not gonna burn the white chocolate. But you know what? It's all about improvising. It's all about the improvisation, people. And I am doing these first because I have to wait for the eyeballs to come in for my Reese's bats. But I guess I could, they're coming in from Amazon in like a few hours, but I guess I could still make them and then add the eyes later. Cause that's like the last step anyway. I'm just so glad I had fluff. I like never have fluff in the house. This is like so perfect. So I just melted it in the microwave. Like I did 10 seconds at a time to make sure I didn't burn the fluff. But these are gonna be so cute. So yeah, sticking these on to 
our brownies. Gonna let that fluff harden up. And then we're gonna take some black icing to put like, you know, a little eye, eye and mouth on our ghost. Well, that took like two seconds. I'm not gonna go in with the eyes yet. I wanna make sure the fluff hardens. I'm hoping the fluff won't totally drip off because I know the white chocolate would harden. So this actually, this could, this could be bad. This could be bad. We're just gonna hope that the fluff doesn't totally drip off. Oh gosh, now I'm nervous. No, I think it'll be fine. Fluff is not that drippy. And we do want it to drip over the edges a little bit, you know? I'm gonna set these to the side. And now we are going to work on our bats, which are a base of a mini Reese's. And then guess what I have to do? I have to melt more chocolate. These I have to melt um, regular chocolate though to blend in with the Reese's, so. I honestly don't usually have an issue melting like a regular chocolate, white chocolate. It has to burn more easily. That's gotta be like a thing, cause I'd be struggling. Trying to decide how many of these I should make. Like, should I just make all of them? Okay, so good news, I did not burn the milk chocolate. So here is how you make the little bats. These recipes are all over the internet, so I don't know who to give credit to. Like there's a million of these online. So you take the mini Reese's and we take the top of an Oreo and then you carefully try to break it in half so that they are pretty even. And these will be your bat wings. And then we just take a little bit of chocolate on the top of the Reese's and then we poof on our bat wings oh it's so cute and the chocolate will like meld this on and then we'll put two little eyes later when they come in that is so cute i think i'm just gonna like make a lot of these because i have the stuff i can't decide i think i'm gonna take off the wrappers because they're kind of like falling off and that way people can just like pick them up and eat them and not have to like try to get off the wrapper okay let's do this All right, here are our adorable bats. These only took about 15 minutes to make all of, and they're gonna look so cute with like the little eyes on each one. The good news is our ghosts are looking perfect. Um, they set perfectly. So I'm going to put eyes on them, and then I'm gonna put them on here with this cover because they are sticky and I don't want them to get stale. So let's go ahead and use the icing and make the cute little faces. All right, here are our little ghost brownies. Don't look at them too close because they all look a little different. This one looks like genuine. Oh, see, that's what kept happening. I had to wash my hands a million times. That one looks genuinely scared. This one is horrifying <laughs> but overall they are super cute little ghosts um i will say this would have been way easier doing it with the white chocolate and not the marshmallow because the stickiness like i said i had to wash my hands a million times so if you do this i guess next halloween this will probably be up after halloween use white chocolate but if you're in a pinch you can use a marshmallow fluff we are just going to really carefully cover these up until tomorrow. All right, it is going well, you guys. I am actually going to also prep the mummy hot dogs and cook them and then just reheat them in the stove tomorrow. I was going to like just prep them and then bake them tomorrow, but it says to only do that up to two hours before. This is like on the Pillsbury website. I'm sure I could, but it says they're easy to reheat and you can do it for a few days. You just throw them in the oven for 10 minutes before because tomorrow I'm gonna have to do like carving this little pumpkin to make the throw up guacamole. I'm not gonna underestimate how long it takes to decorate and setting up the charcuterie. That'll all be tomorrow, but I think having the desserts and the hot dogs done is gonna take off a big pressure. So let's go ahead and make these mummy hot dogs. They are so cute. I also need the eyeballs. 
um, for these as well, but they're so, so adorable. So essentially you're just like cutting up crescent rolls with a pizza cutter and like wrapping little strands of it around the hot dog and it looks like little mummies. So let's do it. All right, so we are going to take our crescent dough and do the spookiest part of all first, people. We're about to pop this sucker open, <laughs> which is always the worst. Okay. Oh, okay, not too bad. That one was not too bad. So first and foremost, we are going to roll this out and pinch it all together. And then I got some turkey hot dogs. I don't know if I'm gonna do both packs or not yet, but I figured either way they'd be good to have in the house because I love me a turkey dog. So we are just going to pinch all of the little lines together. These are gonna be so freaking cute. One of the recipes does mustard as the eyes, but then some use like little candy eyeballs. I think the candy eyeballs are cuter. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna use those. And we've got our pizza cutter. I'm gonna cut them this way. All right, this is gonna take me a minute, <laughs> BRB. Okay, so <laughs> you kind of get the hang of it as you go on, of course. Um, but let's go ahead and see. I do have another pack of crescent rolls, so I don't know if I'm gonna need them though, quite honestly. You do wanna leave like a little room for the eyeballs at the top right here. So, you know, be cautious of that. Oh, these are gonna be so cute. I tried to get them like skinnier as I went along and I wanna try to like cross them over and not have them like perfectly uniform. And you can kind of like stretch them too because it is doughy. Okay, pretty cute you know, for a first one, and then the eyes will go right here. Cute, okay, this will be good. Okay, so here is the next round that's gonna get baked. Oh, there's my timer. And here are the ones that just came out of the oven. They are so cute. Like, I absolutely love these, they were so easy. That one pack of crescent dough made a total of eight, plus five, so 13 in total. So I think that's plenty, because I don't think people will have more than one realistically. And then the little eyes will go in those little spots right there. So yeah, I absolutely think it's gonna be so cute. So now I'm gonna throw in the other ones and we're getting our prep going. I'm still waiting for the eyeballs to come in from Amazon. They were sold out at like every grocery store and Target around. Oh, and I had to put the hair up. Girl was getting hot. Yara and I last night, we ended up going to Target after dinner to get some dusters, uh, duster refills for our Swiffer because our ceiling fan in the bedroom was really dirty. And I was like, I'm just gonna go look one more time because it was a different Target if they have the cookies, maybe, maybe it's a miracle. No, <laughs> but it was really funny because we walked back there and I'm like, I can't believe it's Chris, they have Christmas cookies. Like I need the Halloween ones. And the girl next to me goes, that's what I was here for too. Why is it Christmas? And it was so funny because I was like, she really wanted them. And I'm like, girl, don't even waste your time. I've been to like every grocery store around here, they're gone. <laughs> but alas, then I was like, babe, I want to keep looking. So he drove me to, stop and shop a different stop and shop and no so i was gonna go to price right after that and i'm like i can't do it i give up i can't do it okay here are all of the mummy hot dogs so i actually i think i'm gonna do the eyes tomorrow after i heat them back up so they're all fully cooked and i'll just heat them up tomorrow for 10 minutes in the oven and then add the eyes and I will keep them stored in the fridge with some wrap over it. So super easy to heat up tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. Today's Halloween shirt is Witch Care Bears. We've got a few days left to wear all the Halloween shirts. So today is Halloween party day and I did end up putting the eyes on the bats yesterday when they came in. Oh, Bruno, baby, he's laughing at Snoopy. <laughs> you see Snoopy? Bruni, it's okay. You guys, I put up um, our blow up Snoopy on the porch. Um, I was waiting until it was closer to Halloween. And he can see it in the window. Bruno, it's okay. Oh, that's so funny. That is so pure. Probably allowed him to sniff it. So he knows that. All right. Do you want to go sniff it? So you can understand? 
Okay, so let me show you guys my bats. How cute are they with the little eyes? So cute. So I'm gonna keep these covered so they don't get stale until later. Washed this. So I need to carve my little like pumpkin face in here for the, <laughs> for the, for the gua guac to flow out of. Okay, you guys, so this is the vibe for the pumpkin guac situation. Something like that, you know, if we can just get close to that. I thought about doing this yesterday, but I also didn't want to like do it too soon. I don't think it would have rotted overnight. I should have done this yesterday, but I've had this pumpkin now for a very long time. You guys remember I bought this? I bought this back at Whole Foods when I thought it was like a couple dollars and it was like a couple dollars like per pound. <laughs> so my mom and I are gonna be carving pumpkins at my grandma's in a few days. So I've not carved yet this year. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna wing it. You guys, I took Bruno out to sniff the pumpkin, <laughs> or not the pumpkin, the Snoopy, um, and he wanted no part of it. I don't think I've ever carved a mini pumpkin. I'm kind of curious. It's gonna be the same as just a regular one. Like, I, because I love roasted pumpkin seeds. Yes, pumpkin seeds. Babe, do you like roasted pumpkin seeds? I've never had it before. You ever had roasted pumpkin seeds? Is it like sunflower seeds? No. Is it like uh, pistachio things? <laughs> no, not. It's, it's not pistachio. It's um. <laughs> What are those, uh, it's pistachios, right? Pistachios? No, I mean, no, they're not like pistachios. This is what they look like. They're kind of bigger. They're, um, really good for fertility, so. But they're so good, like, when you roast them with salt and pepper and oil in the fridge, in the fridge, in the oven, they're so bomb. So maybe, maybe we'll make some seeds. It's a little harder to get the guts out because the top of this is a bit smaller. We've got our pumpkin spice coffee. Gotta go with the vibes. Literally, this is like such a small hole. <laughs> My spoon barely fits in it. All right, scoop it out, scoop it out. Oh yeah, we could definitely roast these. It just feels like such a waste not to roast pumpkin seeds, you know, cause they're so yummy. I would normally also put down like a newspaper or something, but for some reason, because this is a mini pumpkin, it just, it felt like a separate <laughs> situation <laughs> than like carving a big pumpkin. Oh, you guys, side note. Last night, Yara and I watched Coco. I watched Coco for the first time, and it was kind of funny, because by the end of it, I was like, wow, I didn't cry. I always cry during Disney movies. Sobbing <laughs> at the end of it. Sobbing. <laughs> oh, but it was really good. It was a really good movie. It was my first time seeing it. Yara's seen it, but it, it was really good. It was a really good movie. I think to myself, I'm like, one day when we have kids, I'm like, how how do people, how do adults watch these movies with their kids and not just like sob? I mean, I guess you can just sob, but like your kid's just gonna be like, why are you crying? I'm gonna be like, well, it's emotional. <laughs> All right, we got the guts out pretty darn good. So time to get carving. Okay, you guys, here is my little vomiting pumpkin. I think it will be cuter with the guac flowing out of the mouth. We are drinking a bye. So Yara and I decided we're gonna do like games in the garage because it's like connected and like close rather than like the basement, just in case it gets messy with like beer pong and stuff. So we're gonna set up our, we have like a table for it. We're gonna set that up in there. And like, um, I think we're gonna go get darts just to have like in the garage for parties. And then also I got that like witch's hat toss game at Target. So I was contemplating putting these on the beer pong table, but I think I'm actually gonna put them on the kitchen island where all the food is gonna go. I think it'll be better. So let's see if I need to use one or two because I can honestly tell you, I don't know the size of our kitchen island. And this is 54 by 108, which feels big. That feels pretty big. So let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is big. This is a big mom. Guys, I think, I think we might be in luck. Okay, so of course <laughs> the tablecloth was almost perfect, but then there was like this much left of space in the width. So I had to use both, but 
I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating. I've got all my decorations in here. If you missed that video, I had like shopping for the party. I got this at Target. This is so cute, this little cauldron. Nope, not a cauldron, it's a candelabra. So cute. Got drink tumblers. We've got plates and napkins. I wanna put this on the door, this on the slider, I think. I don't know, we'll see where it takes us. I've got a bunch of gauze I wanna hang up. We have a lot, <laughs> we have a lot to set up. So I wanna put this on the table. All right, I'm just gonna like get focused, get to it. Okay, so I just ran back to the Dollar Tree and Yar switched out the lights and they look so cool. So we've got orange and purple and then he also put in like these other ones we had that are kind of, they, I don't know how it translates on camera but it looks very spoopy in person. And they, they look better in person too. Nothing ever really translates on camera. So um, I did run back to the Dollar Tree because I can't help myself. <laughs> I wanted to get a tablecloth for that table and then I ended up getting other things because yeah like I just could not resist for a dollar so more stuff to hang and I maybe was gonna put it in like the garage since we're gonna have some games there like look at this creepy hanging witch she's cool she's spooky and I got more garland for the table as well this one has purple bats I'm so glad that they still had Halloween stuff I went to a different Dollar Tree this one has little ghosts and then I got this for the table as well just to kind of have more like have a spread on here and then I did get a white tablecloth it was the only color they had for round left but I'll probably put some garland on top so yeah it is two o'clock party starts at six and I think I'm gonna get ready in a couple hours and just still kind of get my life together. So I've got tape here, all this fun tape into the main area. Got all this do not enter or enter if you dare. And then I'm gonna work on the table when it gets closer. I've got my spider web thing here. This is way too big for this door, so I had to get all crafty with it. And then over here is all of this fun tape and one of each of the bat things up on each side. So far, so good. Not my husband covering up the light switches with tape so no one turns them off. Yep. <laughs> Tell them why. Because if you shut them off, it resets the color. So I'm not trying to adjust the colors and the temperature every single time. <laughs> I, I also, you guys, they had a face only like for one side. So I made a second face with like paper and tape. And then I put this little witch right up here. She's fun, she's sassy. Okay, so this is so funny. I just put batteries in this. I'm like, I just wanna make sure this works because it's from the Dollar Tree, you never know. So I'm like, oh yay, I turn it on and it <laughs> lights up. <laughs> this bitch doesn't stop laughing. So now if you wanna keep her lit up, she just laughs the whole time. Real talk, if you add a nice beat to that, you can <laughs> some, some bars, you know? Many hours later. Okay, so I did my Halloween makeup with my, well, the only difference is the Bumblebee lashes, super fun, and my little antennas. So the overall bee costume was very tight in the chest. I just wanted to be comfortable. So I put on a black shirt. I'm like, perfect, I'll still wear it with my striped socks and the wings. I go to put the wings on. 
the string breaks. I've had a moment, people, but I'm gonna figure out a way to still wear the wings. And Bruno looks very cute in his bee costume. Yara's still running around the house kind of getting some stuff done. And then he'll put on his, so <laughs> stand by for a little TikTok moment. At least I have the lashes, because without the lashes, I had like this, it's like this bee thing. It fit, but it was just uncomfortable. And I know myself, like in an hour, it'll be driving me absolutely nuts. So it's five o'clock, people are coming at six. So we need to put out the chips and guac, assemble the charcuterie, and reheat the mummy hot dogs. But let me show you guys how cute Bruno looks. Can we show them your costume? Wow, you're eating yourself a big stretch. Wow. Look how cute you are. Wow. I'm sorry, finish your supper. You can eat your supper. Okay, I won't, I won't look at you. Well, we've got the socks, the lashes, and the headband holding this look together. So I am also drinking a witch's brew. I was saving, I wish I had like a purple lipstick. That would be kind of cool. I don't think I even have anything like that. <laughs> I was saving um, the Solani for later today. So before people get here and it gets busy, let's do a taste test of the cider donut hard cider. Get a little pre-game. <laughs> All right, first we gotta do a little sniff test. It just smells like hard cider. And I do love me a hard cider, so let's see. This just tastes like a hard cider. Delicious, but I'm not tasting the donut portion. All right, we took our TikTok. Now I'm gonna show you guys the final party look. <laughs> 